so you also see shadow people. Maybe it's the ominous figure looming in the corner of your room. Maybe it's the dark mass at the end of your hallway that's in a human form that seems to be looking in your direction. Or like many other people, you may have a staircase that every single time you walk up the stairs, you feel as if something is chasing behind you. If you've experienced shadow people, maybe seeing an apparition out of the corner of your eye, maybe seeing something that you know has to be more than a figment of your imagination, I wanna help you, you are not insane. As a matter of fact, in this video, I'm going to help you understand what are these shadow people, why do you see them, and then how can you be free from them? I'm gonna ask that you would just take a second before we jump in and hit the subscribe button right now and then ring the bell so that you never miss another video so that you can be equipped and trained in supernatural ministry. So how do you see these people? Why do you see these people? What are these people? Well, let me just tell you, they are not people. They are demons. As a matter of fact, one of the biggest deceptions is that you would believe that they are people. The Bible says that it is, it is appointed to us to live and then to die. And there is heaven and there is hell. But there are demons and there are angels here within this realm and you may be experiencing them like many other people as the result of open doors of trauma in your life. As a matter of fact, oftentimes I'll ask people, when did you start to see shadow people? When did you see apparitions and figures? And it almost always coexists with the divorce of their parents, with sexual trauma and molestation and things that occurred. It often occurs uh, as well when people begin to do experimental drug usage, which doesn't surprise me because in the Bible, when the word sorcery is used, it's strictly prohibited. We are not to do sorcery, but the Greek word for sorcery is pharmakia. Many of you know the word pharmacy because pharmakia and sorcery, witchcraft go together. People say, I started to see black masses and shadow people when I did drugs, but as, I, as the drug-induced trip ended, I still experienced shadow people. Yes, because it's not just biological and physical in nature, but also spiritual. So, Pastor Mike, how can I get free? Go back to the place of pain and trauma. Go back to the place of the open door. Go back to that place and Romans chapter 10 verse nine says, confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that Jesus is the savior and you will be saved. And so you go back to that place and you allow the Lord to begin to deal with that. And then as you um, get deliverance, you get freedom, you confess the, your sin, you allow Jesus to heal you and forgive you for the things that you experienced that opened up that trauma, then I believe that you can proceed with Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 13, which says, put on the full armor of God so that you can withstand the wiles and the attacks of the enemy. And so the last and final thing that you do is you confront the works of darkness. Now, I've waited till the last part of this video to tell you that my childhood was filled with these experiences and I was absolutely terrified and I was in so much fear. As a matter of fact, I, it wasn't until I was 15 years old that I learned the secrets that I just told you. I, I said, Jesus, I surrender my life to you. I belong to you, but I want to receive your Holy Spirit because Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, after the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will receive power. I'll never forget because I had basically poltergeist-like experiences in my home. But if you knew the trauma, if you knew the witchcraft and things that came through family members, it wouldn't be any surprise to you what I experienced. But I stood up empowered by the Holy Spirit and I'll never forget I confronted. Why? because now I had the boldness of the Holy Spirit. And so here's the thing, you are powerless without Jesus, but you are powerful through Jesus. You are more than a conqueror. And so I empower you now, come on through this teaching, and I encourage you to begin to step in the direction of confrontation, because you don't have to live 
under that spirit of fear. Jesus has come to give you love, power, and a sound mind. All right, let's take it a little bit deeper right now. Why don't you watch this video about sleep paralysis? Oftentimes, shadow people are accompanied by sleep paralysis. So check this video out so you can go a little bit deeper on your journey, and I'll see you in the next video.